How's it going guys? In this video I wanted to do something a little bit different, uh, not necessarily horror related, well kind of sort of horror related, How, depending on how you look at it, but uh, I wanted to go over the uh, Hasbro Marvel Legends X-Men Legion. Uh, huge fan of the uh, comic book character Legion and uh, I had been eyeballing this figure for a long time. Uh, I just hadn't picked him up just because I I hadn't picked him up for one because I hadn't really seen him in any of the stores and when I had seen him I was kind of bummed that he really didn't come with a whole lot. I mean as you can see he comes with like the two fists and then a part of a builder figure for a Colossus or something like that. Uh, I'm not too much into the um, Marvel Legends figures. Uh, I have three uh, and the reason why I ended up picking up this guy was I picked him up over at RamFam Collectibles uh, online store. They had a crazy clearance deal uh, on this figure as well as uh, Magneto. But uh, yeah, I wanted to go ahead and uh, review him because I really love the comic book character and I think the figure looks pretty cool. Like I said, the only bummer is they didn't release him with uh, some more accessories or uh, some sort of like uh, psionic effects or anything like that but uh let's go ahead and get a look around the box and then we'll get them opened up and get a better look at the figure so for starters guys here's the uh window box hasbro does uh very nice figure uh i do have to say i'm really really excited to have him in my collection like i said uh i'm a huge fan of the uh, comic book character uh there was also a tv series on fx starring dan stevens uh that show if you haven't seen it you definitely need to check it out it's a really 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 incredible show it only lasted three seasons so it should be an, e an easy watch it's only three seasons and it's uh, i believe it's on uh, hulu so uh, yep on the side we got artist shot of legion apocalypse at the top there on the back have a nice little write-up of the figure or of uh, legion himself as well as uh, another art shot of the figure and then it comes uh with a uh preview of all the other figures in the line from uh, the Age of Apocalypse and then they build the figure for Colossus. The Age of Apocalypse, Colossus. Now you don't know what the Age of Apocalypse is. Uh, it was a series in which um, Legion had actually kicked that off in Legion Quest. Uh, I'm not going to get too much into it just because yeah it's not really we're not doing a biography of legion it's just a figure but uh if you do want to, me to do a deep dive on uh the character legion uh comment down below let me know because uh, i'm really really a uh, big fan of this figure um i have to say aside from this guy gambit's my favorite x-men um yeah legion is uh, incredibly cool and super super powerful um another art shot of the figure Apocalypse. Again, Apocalypse is there because of Age of Apocalypse. So, uh, yep, let's get, uh, let's go ahead and get them opened up and get a better look at the figure. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and uh, get right to it. Uh, I have to say, for starters, uh, getting this figure out of the box was uh, interesting because I'm so used to NECA figures and stuff like that. Uh, the box was a little bit different, so I was very careful, and, but I was able to get him out of the box without any issues, so I should be able to get him back in the box uh, fairly easy. Uh, let's go ahead and start off with the head articulation. Uh, really dig the face sculpt. I dig that. Uh, the hair as well. The sculpt for the hair is pretty nice. Um, I like the smirk. I think uh, really, if you read the comics, and uh, yeah, he's, uh, <laughs> he's, a little, uh, he's a little out there. But uh, for the, as for the head articulation, head does rotate all the way around. Pretty good uh, movement and posability for the head. I really dig uh, that you can kind of have him looking down, looking up. He's definitely got a lot more posability in the head than uh, NECA figures do. Uh, I haven't, like I said, I, I haven't really picked up too many of the other uh, Marvel Legends figures. So this is my first time reviewing one of these. So I'm kind of, so far I'm digging it. Uh, as for the arm, the arm does come up 90 degrees, so that's pretty cool. does rotate all the way around. Uh, looks like, yep, there's a rotation in the upper bicep. Uh, looks like there's double joints in the elbow. And it looks like there is rotation in the hand. And there is a swivel back and forth the wrist 
So, so far I'm really digging the articulation. Uh, I dig some of the, so far I can tell some of the attention to detail is pretty nice. You can see the veins in his hands there. And I think the bicep sculpts are pretty good from so far from what I could tell. Uh, the other arm, same thing, comes up to 90 degrees. A little stiff, does rotate all the way around. Rotation at the upper bicep. Uh, it didn't look like there was any rotation at the elbow or uh, forearm, but again, double joints in the elbow, and then full rotation in the wrist, and then the wrist does bend back and forth. So, dig the posability so far in the figure. Really dig it. Uh, and again, the attention to detail in the uh, in the muscles, uh, the biceps, stuff like that. Um, as well as the veins in the hands, I thought was pretty nice. Uh, as for the torso articulation, there is, looks like, yeah, full rotation. He does have uh, an interesting bend. So you can bend back and you can sort of bend forward. So, but that's pretty nice that you can, he's got some pretty good mobility there and posability. I really dig that. You can pose him in some different, pretty cool poses, I'd say. Yeah. As for the uh, leg articulation, leg does come up, does go back not too much, uh, does come up about 90 degrees almost, can almost do the splits. Uh, looks like there's rotation at the upper thigh, which I thought is pretty cool. Uh, double joints in the knee. Looks like there's full rotation in the foot. Uh, and then the foot does come up and does go back. Wow, it does go back pretty well. Um, doesn't really look like, yeah, there is a bit of a swivel side to side there. Uh, same thing with the other leg, should come up. Actually, it comes up pretty well. Doesn't go back too well like the other leg, but it does have the double joints in the knee, so that's pretty good. Um, leg does come up. Does the splits pretty well, 90 degrees. Again, there's a uh, rotation in the bicep, or rotation in the upper thigh, rather. Full rotation in the foot. Foot does, wow, foot does go back pretty well. And foot does come up pretty well. So, like I said, guys, uh, when, I f when I showed you at the beginning, there's not too much to this figure. Uh, really dig the articulation so far and I dig the attention to detail uh, on the suit his uh, <laughs> his asylum wear I guess because uh, uh, if you don't know much about Legion he is uh, got a personality disorder which uh, basically each personality uh, that he has which uh, again I'm not gonna go deep dive too much into it but he has thousands upon thousands upon thousands of different personalities and each personality has its own mutant ability. So to say he's a OP is a, an understatement. He's a really, really powerful mutant. And uh, spoiler alert, he's Professor Charles Xavier's son, if you didn't know that. So, but yeah, he definitely, he's a powerful one for sure. But um, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the accessories he comes with, guys. As you saw earlier, guys, he doesn't really come with too much. Uh, he comes with a couple solvable hands. Uh, these guys, they look, Pretty good. I mean, they're closed fisted hands, so I don't think I'd really pose them with these too much. Maybe like one fist. I don't know. Maybe one of the fists, but I thought that was pretty good. Not too bad. The mold is pretty nice. You can see the veins and stuff like that. Yeah, like I said, I wish he had come with a little bit more. I mean, really, the only thing else he comes with is a part of the build a figure. Yeah, it's Colossus's leg, which, I mean, I'm not going to get any of the other figures to, to build this. I mean, there's not really other ones that I'm too into in the line, uh, except for Magneto, which I picked up. And then, uh, as mentioned, I did pick up uh, Magneto as well. Uh, also from the Age of Apocalypse, uh, it's odd. He's from the same wave as Legion, but he didn't come with a, a piece of Colossus for the Build-A-Figure, even though it says Build-A-Figure Colossus at the top there, which doesn't make any sense, but... I am glad for this one that they came with the extra head sculpt and uh, the actual, I guess, uh, his power effect. 
Uh, I thought that was really nice. Uh, like I said, I really don't have many of these figures. I don't really collect this line. Uh, I did get this other figure as uh, a giveaway. I got uh, Sabretooth. So, Sabretooth, awesome character, also from the X-Men. Uh, one of Wolverine's greatest adversaries. And he is a total, total madman, so. But beyond that, guys, that about wraps up for this video. Comment down below, let me know what you thought of the figure. Um, have you seen these figures? Uh, have you seen, are you a fan of the comic? Uh, his actual first appearance was uh, New Mutants uh, 25. Like I said, he's just an incredible character. So if even if you don't go back and read all the comics, the stuff that he contributes to that causes, for one, the uh, Age of Apocalypse and stuff like that, a uh, huge event for the X-Men. Um, I won't spoil what happens in Legion Quest. That's where it all kind of... And that's where I first saw Legion was in Legion Quest. So uh, I would definitely suggest checking out the comic books as well as um, check out the show um, on Hulu, uh, the Legion TV series. Crazy, crazy good show. I can't praise that show enough. And that, guys, if you're new to the channel, feel free to like, share, subscribe. If you're not new to the channel, thanks again for coming back and for the continued support. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, like I said, I wanted to do something a little bit different. Like I said, I'm a huge fan of his. Aside from Gambit, Legion is one of my other favorite characters. As you can see back there, I have Gambit, Funko. And as I reviewed before, I have a Zombie Rogue, but I also have Zombie Gambit Funko. So, uh, beyond that, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Take it easy, and... Have a good one.